Welcome to this tutorial on importing survey data. I'm talking a bit about data preparation and then how I want to show you how to import that Excel file uh, that you need to prepare for survey data, how to get that into Atlas TI. I will show you actually um, two different examples. One is kind of a, yeah, um, mock-up survey but the other one is basically pre pre prepared as survey data but they're actually not survey data they are just data um, that are found on the internet and that can just be prepared as if they would be survey data so you could use this or you can use this import function um, also for the type of data that uh, seems to suit that, that format so as before I prepared a new hermeneutic unit to get the data in. But before we do that, we need to look at the survey file and how it's supposed to look like. Well, this is also the file that you can access from within Atlas, from the samples folder, so from the standard um, example project. And now I have to move this into the view from the recording. And it starts out here with the cases, but if you if you just leave out that column here, um, at least name some case one, two, three, four, five, but you can use other names here as well. Observe the syntax here. Yeah, so you find the um, detailed explanation of the syntax uh, in the manual or in the book, um, and that's also a, a PowerPoint presentation on the com companion website for that. So I'm just very briefly going through these um, to the, the syntax here. If you have a name of the person where this um, the entry is coming from, you can enter and it's going to be the author field in Atlas. And here we now we get into the variable type stuff um, that you can bring in Atlas to Atlas TI in addition to the open-ended uh, answers from a survey. So it can be um, variables like gender or whether somebody has children, yes, no. So these are dichotomous, male, female, yes, no. Most of the time, gender is dichotomous, um, at least in surveys. And number of children. So we have um, basically as one an ordinal scaled variable, marital status can be also more than um, two. And these are question whether children bring happiness or whether they bring fulfillment and purpose. Yes, no answers um, in in the survey. So in Atlas, these can be turned into a family. So all that have answers yes or one, um, you can bring in, in as like a positive answer to that question. So this becomes a, uh, a family in Atlas. So variables basically are primary document families. So if you haven't uh, heard about that before. Same for gender, we get a, f a document family or document group for male and we get one for female. So we always have dichotomous variable, so to speak, in Atlas. Now let's move over to the open-ended question. So basically the meat of the data here, the survey responses. So we have two here and we have two different syntax here as an example. So this is survey question one, reasons for having children. And if you enter it like that, the code, the automatic code that Atlas generates will be SQ1 and the reasons for having children will be forced into the common field. If you write it like that, the whole word is going to be the code and no comma in the common field. And each of these entries will to be turned into primary documents. So we have case-based entry. So this row here from that person will be one primary document. This will be the second primary document and this will be the third primary document and so on. So we have case-based entry here. So let me show you one more example. This is data I got from the internet. My boys are playing Minecraft. So I thought, well, let's see what other parents are saying about that. So um, I found some information online, as you do find lots of information online these days. And um, the formatting is here 
not in the way I wanted to show you that. Oh, this is a CSV format. Yeah, by the way, this is maybe uh, an issue um, that I can tell you immediately. If you have an issue with actually bringing the Excel file in it in the Excel format um, and then save it as CSV file and then bring it in uh, to, to Atlas. So here I have the names here that people mentioned on the internet. So sometimes some clear names, other times it's just some pseudonyms here. And then we have the age recommendation for the game. We have the status, we have the learning rate. All of these will be turned into document groups. Um, and, um, and whether it's actually the status here is adult or parent um, or an educator. So what is the opinion of those people? And then here we have the actual data content. I copied and pasted into the Excel table from the internet. And so they provided a summary evaluation of the game and then some more detailed information about the game. And I have, you see, case based, I have 41 cases here in that data set. Yeah. So you could try the Excel file um, if that gives an issue, um, you could uh, alternatively then format the cells as text only. It's not actually required anymore. It was at, at the beginning that uh, all is formatted as text only. Um, and if that still doesn't help, then save it as CSV file. And yeah, if the regular Excel option doesn't work. So this much about data preparation. Now let's get these data in and see um, how it works. So the new, you can't actually not see it's off the screen, but now we see that the rest of the menu here, import survey data. So it immediately goes to that folder because I've done this before and I can pick on my Excel file here and it's reading it into Atlas TI. So you see 24 cases that were imported. You can also import 3000 cases or 5000 cases. It takes a bit longer, but it's still feasible. So it just, you know, it takes a few minutes to get all that in. So if I open the primary document manager, all the data are in here as cases and I have 24. And all of those inform the information that I had in my first columns, not the data is now entered as primary document families. So I can click on, I have 13 females, I have 11 males, and the list is filtered through. Yeah, so I'm doing it like that. I have 15 with children, nine without children, seven who are divorced, um, 10 who are married, and so on. Yeah, so this is automatically sorted in all of these families that then can help uh, later help you uh, to analyze the data and compare and contrast group. Groups. All of these data are imported. That's why it's called imported. So every time you see in the menu, it's to import like transcripts, data are inside the HU. So they're not in the library. They're not externally linked. They're everything in the HU file. So if I have no, add no more data to this, I can just save the HU and um, so that's off, off the screen again. You can't actually see the save. You can see the control S here. Um, then you um, basically need your HU file if you don't enter other data to this data set. There's no need for creating a copy bundle file, just keep your HU file safe. So in terms of data, what has been added here? Let's open case one. Let's do the code manager later. And you see that the data in the cells were now entered as your qualitative content and they're automatically coded. And you see here that one has only the, um, the, the question number and the comment or the, the actual question in the comment. And here we have the full, the full name here. So depending on how you want to set it up, but keep it short um, so you don't clutter up your margin too much. So let me open up the code manager and it immediately actually creates a code family. It's can't, so I have to open the code family side panel here. And so we have 
two codes here. And let me show you the automatic comment here. No comment for this one. But here, because of the syntax, the two columns that I've entered in Excel. And so Atlas automatically creates a code family sur survey items in case you need to filter for that at some point in time. So this is how you bring in the survey data. There will be another video on how to analyze survey data. And for that, I use the Minecraft data to show you how you can approach uh, analysis of those type of data, because it's a bit different than working with interview data, for example. So that's that for now, working on or importing survey data. And I see you next time. Bye bye.